I might be one of the very few people on this planet in Mortal Kombat 1 to purposely play Shujinko as my cameo. Now, the reason why I'm playing Shujinko as my cameo is because when Mortal Kombat Deception came out and I was a wee lad, I played Shujinko, right? Because he had the longest combos in the game and I wanted to play him. And also, he was able to mess around, have Scorpion, Spear, Sub-Zero's Ice Ball. And in Mortal Kombat 1, I believe they kind of did him justice. Shushiko is very volatile, very versatile, and sometimes very shitty. We're going to be making a tier list of all the moves that Shushiko copies put together in one. So it's not going to be like, uh, you know, one move by Sub-Zero's S, the other move is B. It's like overall Sub-Zero's and A, if that makes sense. Of course, if you like this video, please hit subscribe and comment down below. Leave a like. Uh, I would... When I first thought of this video, I thought I would show Shujinko in each um, move that he does. But, however, Mortal Kombat doesn't have a quickly switch character. So, I'm not going to go to the character select screen, you know, 23 times and waste your life. I'm just going to, you just have to trust me that I play this. But, I do have an example with General Shao later that I'll show on why Shujinko makes certain characters better. First off, uh... We, there's no photo of Shujinko, so we have Takeda up here. The next character I want to play when the game comes out as Shujinko. So that's why Takeda's up there. Shang Tsung will start with first because you're like, why is he in his own tier? So when you play against the Shang Tsung, Shang Tsung with Shujinko, he can only copy Shang Tsung's uh, three skull fireballs. And then if you use his, his uh, down back assist, which is usually the, the big boy, you just copy uh their assist and then you get all of their moves so realistically how good of a cameo is he against shank song is how good of a cameo does he have the fireballs are pretty good if you hold down the assist button he does do three fireballs but overall it's honestly just you know if you copy serena you get serena knives serena's you know portal if you copy sector you get the missile teleport punch you get all of them so you really have to remember like what each cameo does as well put your shinko on a different level so let's go down the list so Sub Zero, Sub Zero is an A tier uh, copy, I would believe. Shujinko is able to combo into Sub Zero Ice Ball, which is something Sub Zero cannot do by himself without the assist uh, or without help of a cameo. So being able to play, so I play Smoke, uh, and I do play on Wired Connection. Calm down. So Shujinko has a back punch and a forward punch cameo call. Where he punches you or he kicks you in the dick. Because of these moves, they are also special cancelable into either the Mimic or the Copycat. So because of these, normally, if you do Smoke's forward 3-2, the low into the overhead ice ball, it doesn't combo. But if you do forward 3-2, Shujinko's punch ice ball, it then combos, which now allows you just to have big boy damage. Very good. So um, He does get the ice ball, but then his forward assist... Um, he gets Sub-Zero Slide, but it doesn't do the, the hit version. It just goes through. The, the other bad part is that Shujinko is a cameo that if they made his copycat and his mimic abilities ambush assist, meaning you're able to freely move around, he would be the best assist in the game. However, when you do the ice sweep, they do pop up in the air, but you're kind of, you're in like that weird position you know you know you 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 play serena when you go out serena your character does like a pose you do that with the ice slice so you can't really combo off of most of these moves but, you know overall being able to combo in the ice ball off of a 50 50 mix very useful smoke s tier solely based on the purpose i play smoke so the other so you get smoke's air kunai which isn't that useful because i could just use my kunai the reason why it's S tier is because the down back assist makes you invisible for free. You just charge Shujinko. He doesn't take that long to charge up. He does down back. You can do a combo string and into his down back assist, like any combo string that's special cancelable. Do down back assist, and then you turn invisible. Normally, when you play smoke, you have to throw the you know the EX ball. You come from the sky, they just uppercut you. Bad. But this one, you can just be mid screen. Boom, you're invisible. You play uh, Reiko, boom, you're invisible. Lee Mei, boom, you're invisible. Shao Kahn, boom, you're invisible. You can set up your 50-50 mix. I think that's really good. Lee Mei is a B. 
uh, you get two moves. I mean, obviously. You get her little, her, like, dragon heel kick that she does. It's not really that good. Um, and then you get her EX projectile, which does, which is the EX version, so it does bounce back. But the weird part about it is that it adds so much gravity to the combo. So even if you haven't knocked them up once and you do Lee Mei's, or you, then you do the down back assist for Lee Mei's EX fireball, they, they, they immediately like drop. Like you're able to like combo one or two hits, but I don't know what's going on with that. I mean, if they were, if they had normal gravital scaling, as I'll say it, then it would be like way better. But yeah, so you do like, you know, four or three, Lee Mei's EX and then you'll try to do like a 4-3 hit grab you know the doo-doo-doo-doo tosses you up but like they just they really just be plummeting kind of trash uh Baraka Baraka's hovering on B to trash the reason being is that you get his normal projectile uh which is the sparks which is a high so it can be ducked and then you get his his stabby move but unlike Baraka that stabs you three times and can side switch Shujin actually the more I'm talking about is going to trash. Shujinka only stabs them once and then drops them down. It doesn't leave the bleed effect. It it doesn't do that much damage. It doesn't extend your combos, right? Like as if a sub-zero would. It doesn't have much utility, like a smoke. You know, at least Lee Mei, you might be able to do something. You, you can do Lee Mei's thing in the smoke's uh down back down back one and land the kunai. But yeah, Baraka, not that good. If you were able to if it, I mean, if it hit a few more times or if it let the, the dot damage over time, would have been way better for utility in the corner. But overall, not that good. Tanya gets an A. Uh, you get her, her fireball for the down forward. So down forward, by the way, if you don't know, you get two uses of the down forward. So which means you get two Sub-Zero slides, two, uh, two Baraka projectiles, two Lee Mei kicks, two Tanya fireballs, right? And then the down back, which I'm just going to say down back, uh, you only get one. It takes the entire Shujinko bar. However, when you do a combo with Smoke, uh, let's say you do the down back with Sub-Zero. You freeze them, you do a combo, you end with the, the command grab into the knife toss. You can actually call Shujinko back during the combo. So during the combo, you can have them recharging, which then allows you to set up for the next combo. Shujinko is not that hard to micromanage. But yeah, time to get her projectile pretty decent. And then her down back, you get her drill kick, which launches them in the air, leading to a very easy combo extensions. Uh, a very nice damage tool. Uh, you know, overall, right? I think A tiers you're going to see is they have a decent down forward, but then their down back is, you know, really good for extending combos. Gearus, on the other hand, is S tier uh, because his down forward is the pop-up is the pop-up uh dust storm he does and you're able to combo off it one of the very few down forwards you're actually i think might be the only down forward you can combo off of possibly now that i'm looking at the list i believe so so yeah so the only down forward you can combo off of unless my memory is mistaking me and his down back he you get the time stop you get time stop. Whatever character you have, you get time stop with Gearus. With Shuzinko. You don't have to fucking call in three clocks, you know? You just charge Shuzinko, land an easy combo, time stop, punch, 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 pop him up. Easy combo. Gearus S tier so far. Reptile, A tier. Um, Shuzinko also has very interesting interactions with certain characters. Like what? His down forward, you get Reptile Spit. Not really the best. But his down back, you get Reptile's Force Ball. But not only do you get Reptile's Force Ball, you get the variations, slow, medium, and fast of Force Ball if you hold back or forward. Like, Shujinko follows most properties of characters, which is actually kind of amazing. So you get the slow, the medium, and the heavy Force Ball depending on what character you use. It leads it way better. So with smoke, I use the heavy for, or I use the fast force, uh, fast force ball, because some of smoke's combos leave them a little bit far away. Super amazing. So yeah, reptile A tier, and also you're able to control space with the force ball. Then you can get a pretty good combo because it just pops them in the air. Havoc B tier, um, his down forward is his is his spin, uh, where he spins around his body, 
kind of decent nothing nothing like too crazy his down back is a projectile that launches but unlike these it's the stupid one that like flies around the screen and then launches them so you, there's not really unless maybe if you play sub-zero no because sub-zero can't even combo to his own ice ball maybe if you hit like a raw ice ball and do a 50 50 mix and you land it as soon as like i don't know maybe if you're scorpion you call in the you call in the projectile you hit him with the unblockable health flame and then it bounces like there has to be utility but for right now with smoke i have yet to find any I'm not saying that it's impossible with other characters. He probably shines with other characters, but from my experience, it's like the force, like the, the fireball just is on the screen for way too long. The opponent just, you know, just blocks and they're chilling. Ashra A tier, you get Ashra's uh, light stance. I don't know if you can get Ashra's dark stance. I, maybe you can get Ashra's dark stance, which would be kind of crazy. I've yet to see the input for it. Uh, maybe because when you go to Shujinko, you, it doesn't tell you any of this. Like, it doesn't tell you Reptile, you can change his ball. Um, it, it just says copycat ability or mimic, whichever one it is. Like, so you have to figure this out on your own, which is why I think he's very unexplored. Uh, so yeah, Ashra, you get her fireball, which is pretty nice. It doesn't go full screen, which we'll see an example from later where you actually get a better fireball than the character that you're fighting, which is very interesting. So Ashra, fireball goes like maybe 60, 65%. And, but her... Down back, you get her, like, sweep up move, which can lead into big boy combos. So, overall, an A. Sandel, very similar to Ashra. You get a fireball, and you get a knockup. Most of these characters get a fireball and knockup. Actually, Sandel might be closer to S. Because you get Sandel's really good hair fireball, but then her knockup is an overhead. A lot of characters' um, moves are mids. We'll talk about that in a second as well. A lot of characters' moves are mids. Uh, but Sandel's has the overhead. And it's an overhead launcher. It's her, It pops them up. So with smoke, you can do like back to Sandel overhead, right? Double overhead mix versus a overhead low mix. Seems really good. Big boy damage. General Shao S tier. Um, his hammer. Which, I mean, we'll we'll show him off. We'll, we'll show him off. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. We'll take a we'll take an interview, and I can show you like what I'm talking about with Shujinki. Let me plug in my controller real quick. I can show you like the sauce that you get like with General Shao alone, which is why Shujinko is like a really good person. Okay, let's let's go. Let's show off. Let's show off General Shao. I'll be I'll be up here this whole time. But you get some crazy sauce with Shujinko, and then I guess you can explain a little bit more about what Shujinko has to offer. Let me keep my webcam this big. Smoke. Fuck you, that's why. Well, let's go do a, let's go do a map Mashu. that won't get me in trouble. So, the way that Shushinko works as well. Maybe I should do this in the beginning. Who cares? So, the way that Shushinko works is let's swap this to be uh, right. And then let's go on the left side. Yeah, so I'm not coming. So the way Shushinko works right, you have to charge him. So this move right here, this is General Shaw's pop-up. As you see, big boy, super easy. And you can, like I think, you're calling Shujinko during it. During training mode, it does refill faster. So that's not the actual speed Shujinko charges at. But as you see, this doesn't combo, which is kind of bad. But thanks to Shujinko's, like I said, his, his little punch and his nut kick, you're able to combo into that. So you can go like that, nut kick, into that. And then now, not optimal by any means. But now for no meter, I just got 35%. The same can go with this move right here. Unfortunately, I can't combo. Like I said, this is why Shujinko will be broke if you're able to move. Because then you get a ba basically you get a pop-up. And then I couldn't be able to combo. But this is why also Sub-Zero is so good. Because normally, just like Sub-Zero, um, just like Sub-Zero, like this doesn't combo with Ice Ball. But thanks to Shujinko being able to special cancel his moves, then it combos. And then you can actually do some wacky stuff. So you can do stuff like this. Um, oops, wait. You can do stuff like this. Let me see if I can get it first try. Okay, I lied. Let me see if I can get it second try. Let me see if I can get it third try. You can get 
because Shujinko and General Shao just work really well. Of course, you do have to cash out, but that's a 60% combo on smoke, which is not very, not very common. Not very common. Okay, let's go back. So yeah, so you can see why, you know, you can you can see why it has it has some good merit. Scorpion, uh, S tier. Uh, you get his spear, which is also really good, and it does it does combo even without the help, even without the help of Shujinko. But you also get Scorpion's Hell Wheel, and it's a uh, it's a really good chip tool. It's a really good pressure tool in the corner. It's I believe it's safe on block. Um, it might be like negative nine. So at most you just eat a down one. Uh, but yeah, I mean overall just great utility and great combos and great uh combo extender. So I think that's why Scorpion's really good. Katana, uh, B tier with smoke. Once again, this is all just with smoke as, as, as much as I feel. S for smoke. Um, her back, her down back, you get her, put this back on. Shout out Lo-Fi. Her down back, you get her little fan tornado, but it leaves him at like an awkward range where you kind of have to hit like a, fr not, a set, not like a frame perfect, like a semi perfect dash. You know, you have like a semi-perfect dash and then, you know, try to get like a, a combo extender. Maybe if you play Scorpion um, or even Sub-Zero, maybe you can call it in and land an Ice Ball or a Spear. And, you know, be able to extend the combo with Smoke. Not really the best. And then her down forward, she gets her Dive Kick. The one that has like a, has like a weird arc. Once again, you're unable to combo using it because of the way that the uh, animation works. And Smoke already has a really good anti-air with down 1x. However, your character that has a weak anti-air, then I then Katana would be better for you. Johnny Cage is an A. Uh, you get his down forward, you get his very quick kick, right? That just sends him full screen, which is very nice because you send him full screen, you can recharge Shujinko again. And his down back is his nut punch. And especially with smoke, you might be thinking, like, well, with smoke, uh, a, a, you know, a reset must, must be really good. Yeah, but it's not better than these guys, you know. It's not it's not better than just having infinite damage at, like, your expense versus a 50-50 mix that if they block it, smoke's super negative and then I die. So not that good. But overall, the, the kick, I use it mostly for the kick. The kick always catches people off guard. It's so fast, dude. It's so fast. You know, especially if they're, like, dash blocking. Pretty good. Kenshi, uh, A tier. You get Sento. That's enough said. You get Sento. Um, depending on your character, it could go up, but you do get Sento with Shujinko. You get all the Sento combos, the overhead, um, all that. I found a decent combo with Smoke in the corner using Sento. Obviously, the character wasn't designed to have Sento, unlike Kenshi. It, but, yo, you have Sento at your disposal. You can show Kenshi's really what they want. Smoke does have a good setup. So, Sento is 55 frames to come out. Usually, why, you know, Kenshi's have Frost. Because they freeze and then they pull out Sento, then they can fuck you up. However, with Smoke, his uh, his forward one two command grab or forward one two into hit grab is fifty four frames of recovery for the opponent. Sento's fifty five. You can set up Sento and you're only negative one. Pretty nice. Uh, Kung Lao is a B. You get his hat throw, which knocks down, and you actually win trays against Kung Laos, which is actually funny. Is that most of these characters with like fireballs, like the Ashras, the uh, the Tanyas, the Kung Laos, you act so Sindels, you actually win the fireball war because Shushinko eats the hit. So when Shushinko comes out and throws his hat, and they throw their hat at the same time, Shushinko takes the hit, but then they get hit by Shushinko's hat. So it's actually super useful. I won a game like that recently, playing uh, playing a rain player. We are both at like a pixel of HP. And then I did, uh, no, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait for that story. Uh, Melina B tier. Uh, you might be thinking like, why is Melina B tier? Because Melina's down forward is a better size. The size go full screen. So it's a really good zoning tool. But her down back is Melina's roll. And you might be thinking like, well, Melina's role is a really good tool in combos. I play Melina and her, and her role's fantastic. What do you mean it's bad? Yeah, but you also get the recovery of Melina's role for some reason. So if I'm in neutral and, my, and Melina's role being a mid kind of fucks this. I don't know why they made it a mid. Make Melina's role low and then she'll probably go up to A. 
but the enemy just blocks Molina's roll, even if they're 60% of the way, oh, like 60% of the, the stage away, they can still punish you. Like they can dash up three times and just beat the shit out of you. I don't know why there's so much recovery on Molina's roll. There's not that much recovery on the Johnny Cage kick. Or there might be, a, but then Johnny Cage kick maybe leaves you a little bit more plus. This is this just leaves you so negative that unless you combo into the roll, you can't really just throw it out for pressure. And it being a mid, once again, just makes it way worse. Uh, Raiden is B tier. You get his projectile, and you can also hold his projectile, which is nice. So you, can, you can get the five, and it's good for chip damage. But his down back, you get his... You get his teleport, which is weird because when you combo into Raiden's teleport, the game doesn't know if you're on the left or the right side. So if you're on the left side, you're still going to be facing left, but the opponent's behind you. So then your button just doesn't hit, right? Or, and, and then, but then you have to like move your character slightly and like delay it. It's like super weird. It's super janky. I don't like it. Uh, in the corner, it combos a little bit better because even though your character is like facing the wrong way and they're in the corner, they like turn around a little bit quicker. Oh, it's super, it's super weird. I don't like it. It's inconsistent, which is why it goes down to B tier. It was a little bit better. It'll probably be an A. And then when it comes to just using it as a teleport, uh, it's 23 frames of recovery, meaning if they're ready for it, they can just punish you right so it's like not even safe it's not the best rain uh trash <laughs> uh rain goes in a trash tier um you get his fireball which is a high so once again if they're ducking they just you just you know you just you you get like a pretty useless fireball uh but his down back he does his like swoosh move like the fucking sperm in the sky you can combo off of it, but nine times out of ten, it like it doesn't hit in the corner, which is maybe where you want to like use like most of these cameos that are like A and S tier, even Katana right here in B. Uh you can combo it in the corner pretty reliably. This one doesn't even hit in the corner. It it's like it, it pulls them like an awkward distance away. It's it's not it's not a good move. I don't know why they didn't give him something. Also, Speaking back to Raiden, I don't know why they didn't give him the electric, the electric zap. That's what they, that's what the down back should have been. Raiden's little bah, bounce move. That's what, or his like electricity field should have been his down forward. Like why this character has such great move and Shushinko was like, I don't even want to copy those. Maybe even the goddamn tackle. Fuck man. Hate this character and I hate that Shushinko doesn't get any of his good shit. Uh, Liu Kang A tier. Uh, with Liu Kang, you get an amazing zoning tool. His down forward is Liu Kang's low fireball. But it's faster than Liu Kang's fireball. Shushinko will be hurling them dragons. Faster than Liu Kang's fireball. Really good. And then his down back, you get uh, Liu Kang's like, mid fireball. But it just bounces them up. You don't, you don't get the kick. Which is nice. So you can like combo. Boop. You know, big old dragon and then combo into again. So really good zoning as well as really good utility. Actually, that might be a is that that might be an S. That might be an S. Great zoning. Granted, they can jump, but that's fine. I mean they can I mean it'd be like that. And you get a, a really good combo extender. So yeah, not too bad. I'll put I'll put no mm, I'll put Luke King S. You know, that's the fire god. Uh Nataro trash. Um, you get her her blood spit. Trash. And then her down back is only hitting aerial enemies. So if you have a combo that launches, uh, you can't hit her down back unless they're in the air. But then at the same thing that happens to Lee Mei, you, if you hit them in the air, the gravitational scaling kicks in. And then they just fucking plummet to the ground before you can really do anything. So Megan Fox is in the trash tier. Don't even like it. Reiko, same thing. Trash. Um, these four, dude, I think there's so many better moves that you can just think of to give these people, which is like so annoying. Reiko, you get his, his, like his tackle, which is a mid. So not really much for 50, 50 mix, mix, mix ups there, but his down back, you don't even get Reiko's command grab. You get Reiko's parry. 
parries all i don't even think i've seen a reiko do parry because it's also you only get the high version of the parry i don't even think reiko has a low version of a parry i wouldn't know because nobody fucking uses it but yeah you only get the high parry so you have to like make a hard read during like a block string maybe wake up with it and then assume that they're gonna punch you i don't know it doesn't seem that good uh i think they could have definitely gave them the ninja stars for the down forward instead of the tackle because the ninja stars are really good and then for the down back i feel like they could have gave them the uh like the like the running knee or maybe even like the running slide maybe you could do both oh yeah by the way with kung lao i forgot to say man i'm sorry i'm all over this with kung lao you're actually able to his uh his down back I don't think I talk about cooling. I think I mostly talk about projectiles. His down back, he just spins and then it knocks down. However, you can charge it and then control where Kun Lao goes. And if it's fully charged, you're plus 11 on block. Uh, so it's actually like a pretty good tool to have. It'd be plus 11 in this game. It does take a long time to charge up, but you can just be full screen. Stand Kun Lao and like if they move, you just like go over the button and you just knock them down. Does decent amount of damage. Not too bad. And then once again, Shang Tsung, you just get the cameo. There is a bug with with uh with Cyrex. Uh, if you want to see that, I think I'm gonna post it on Twitter. I'm gonna tag Ed Boon as well as they put it as a YouTube short. But yeah, there's like a bug with Cyrex where you, when you call in the cameo, his so when you do down back against Shang Tsung, they turn into the cameo and then they run away. But for only with Cyrex that I found, he can turn to the cameo instead of running back, he runs forward into the opponent. And then his animation gets stuck. Whereas every other character, if they run forward, their animation immediately ends and they just disappear. It looks kind of janky, but only Cyrex just... He'll just be like this the entire time. He's like that one guy. That does that, you know? But yeah, so this is my uh, tier list on Shujinko. So when I fight these characters, I'm pretty happy. When I fight these characters, I'm pretty sad. Especially this one. This is by far the worst because you don't really you get jack and or shit. Same with Baraka, dude. Because Baraka, because you got to fight. Dude, it's shitty that two of the best, not two of the best. Currently, I believe two of the best characters could change. Uh, Baraka and Raiden, because Raiden gets dummy amount of damage for fucking Jack and or shit with Jack's assist. And Baraka gets dummy amount of chip with Cyrex. I know there's flawless block, but you're not always going to be flawless blocking. But maybe I just got to get better at the game. It's fine. I think these two are just really strong early right now. Uh, You know, so it sucks that two of the characters with some of the best uh tools in the game like they have way better moves that shujinko could definitely copy you know Baraka could get his slice into, into the bounce you know but if, alas they were like what if we just throw him on the ground what if we just have a very bad teleport but that's the end of the video so thank you everybody for tuning in i greatly do appreciate it uh if you thought this was good uh please leave a comment down below and if you have any more questions about Shujinko, uh, I'll be willing to answer them in the comments. Leave a like, hit that subscribe button, we're close to 1,000. I'll see you all again in the next video. See ya.